Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you about the latest from Simulacrum, Genesis, out February 12th on Frontiers Music. This album has 9 tracks, 61 minutes in length, and this is the band's third full-length studio album. They're a Finnish progressive metal band, and they're putting together a very interesting record, specifically if you look at the structure of this album. This is a record that has a side A and a side B, perhaps two different sides of the same coin. I would go as far as to say that this is an album that merges two different album structures into one single record. The first side, side A, I felt that the album didn't have direction from a structural perspective. It was a little bit all over the place. One moment is pushing you in one direction, where the next song is pushing you in a completely different direction. From a musical perspective, it is eclectic, it is diverse, but it offers a lot of cohesiveness uh, um, amongst all the different elements that really permeate throughout each and every single song. So from a soundscape perspective, there are a lot of similarities throughout that side A but you still feel like each song tries to offer you a different look, a different perspective, a different experience, if you will. Then when you tie that up with the fact that it doesn't really have a linear forward structure, it becomes a little bit all over the place, almost a little bit chaotic at times. The second side of the record is perhaps the reverse of that coin. Things change, the roles change. From a structural perspective, I felt it was very linear. You knew where you were, you knew where you were going, and you knew how exactly how to get there. They divided one song into four different pieces and they kept them very together, very straightforward, almost feeling like the soundtrack of a movie. So you understand that there are roller coasters, there are ups and downs, but those ups and downs are a part of the path that you're taking. From a sound perspective, I felt it was a little bit more atmosphere, a little bit more outside the box, even more eclectic than what you got on the first half of the album because the diversity of sound on that second half is not, uh, it doesn't stay as cohesive, it doesn't stay as consistent across every single song. It diverges a little bit, it morphs, it changes, it gives you a different perspective, and that is enough to change your overall perception of, of how the album sounds and specifically how that second half of the album plays out. So this is a very interesting approach that they created for this album, a little bit outside the box, if you will. Now, overall soundscape of the record, it's really hard to define an overall soundscape when you have an album that almost feels differently from one side to the next. But it's definitely a progressive metal album. It offers a lot of different elements. They try to give you uh, different feels, different textures, if you will, as far as their sound is concerned, almost at every single turn becoming a little bit more well-defined once you get into that second half because the atmosphere of that part of the album is definitely present and plays a much bigger role than what it did in the first half of the record. Once you get deeper into the sound, there's a lot of different elements. This is a record that has a lot of different layers as far as that soundscape is concerned. But to me, there are two important layers on this album that really have to be addressed, and that is the drums and guitars. I absolutely love the drums on this album very consistent. It doesn't matter if it's on the first half of the record or the second half of the record. You're always going to get a very consistent output and as far as quality the same thing goes. The quality of the sound of the drums, the recording of the drums on this album is outstanding. It adds a lot of power, it adds a lot of heaviness. It's always one of the elements that you feel like it's creating the baseline, the foundation for everything else that's going to happen within the track and then obviously within the album itself. The other element is the guitars. Perhaps a little bit more eclectic, a little bit more diverse, but a lot of the heaviness that you're gonna get out of this album is not just coming from the drums, it's also coming from the guitars. But they deviate a little bit more often from that beaten path and they give you different looks, different feels, not as tight, not as grouped together as the drums are. The drums stay more on course and they don't break uh, that path, they don't get out of that lane as often as the guitars do. But that's an important aspect of this album. You need the guitars to be slightly more diverse. You need the guitars to offer you heaviness, but offer you melody, uh, really push the record forward, really be the driving force behind this album. And more often than not, that's exactly what you're gonna get out of them. The vocals are really interesting. Having two vocalists allows them to have a very diverse approach and really play off of each other as far as this album is concerned and fill in the right gaps with the right vocal style, with the right approach, depending on what the song calls for. I really enjoy the vocals, I love the melody that they have, I love the tone, the delivery, and perhaps more important, really understanding the momentums of the song and knowing when one needs to come in and when the other one needs to drop out. It's really important because the, the two vocal styles, while slightly similar, they're not quite the same. So you really need to get the best out of both worlds, the best out of both vocals, and squeeze that orange, squeeze that juice to the maximum drop. And I felt like they did that throughout this record. 
Overall, this is a very interesting album. It has a lot of interesting elements. I love the overall sound. The recording of this record is really crisp. You can really feel all the different elements. You can feel the heaviness, you can feel the melody. You can feel when the songs are being pushed to a different level, uh, to the stratosphere, almost becoming a lot bigger, a lot larger, almost cinematic. The playmanship throughout this record is phenomenal. The guitar playing is outstanding. The vocals are outstanding. So there's a lot of great elements within the recording, within the album. Once again, the structure to me is one of the things that really, uh, it, it really comes uh, out and becomes very noticeable as one of the main ingredients that this album has to offer. Having said all of that, this was not necessarily a record that I enjoyed because I felt like I was a little bit lost in it. At times there was so much to digest, there was so much for me to process because they tried to pack so many different things in one track that became a little bit uh, uh, of an overburden. It, it was hard for me to be able to understand exactly what their goal was. And, and that allowed me to get lost within the record itself. I felt like my wheels were just spinning at times and I wasn't sure if I was going in one direction or another, if I was just standing still. So for an album that has the quality that it has, perhaps it lacks a little bit uh, a better defined approach so that the listener understands exactly what the band wants out of this album because for me it was a very hard record to digest, was a very hard record to process, and I was absolutely lost for most of this album, knowing roughly where I am and roughly where I think they want me to go, but not really having that clear path that takes me there. And, and that comes from uh, having too many layers within the soundscape itself, having a very dynamic structure that offers you one thing in one hand and a different thing in the other. I think they need to balance uh, these approaches a little bit better, bring everything to the table in a more cohesive, in a more concise approach, so it's a lot easier for the listener to go through this record and have a clear understanding what, of what we just experienced. As far as songs are concerned, I want to start off with Traumatized. This is the opening track on the album. I love the heaviness from the guitars on this track and from the drums, very consistent. These two elements always seem to be working hand in hand on almost every single track. Uh, that this record has to offer. This one is no different. And this one kind of gives you a glimpse a little bit in terms of what you're gonna get out of this album as far as soundscape is concerned, at least for that first half of the record. Uh, I love how it moves, it has great movement, it, it really elevates it. Uh, the chorus specifically really elevates this track, it becomes a little bit more uh, melodic, a little bit more cinematic, it gains a little bit more volume, not necessarily becoming heavier, but definitely gaining a little bit more volume. It's almost like it's reaching for the stars and once you get to the chorus, you're definitely there, you're in the stratosphere, you're touching you're touching those stars. So it has a very interesting dynamic, it, it pulls you up and down but it, not in a very abrupt kind of way, it kind of eases you into those peaks and into those valleys. Very dynamic song, both musically and vocally, I love the mixture of melody and power. Uh, the solos are incredible on this track, they really explode, they really give life, extend the track, but they don't just extend the track, they give something else, they give a little bit of more warmth to the song, a little bit more melody, a little bit more presence, a little bit more soul, and that was something that I really enjoyed about this song. Next one is Like You, Like Me. This, I would call it the ballad of the record. It has all the trademarks of a ballad, but having said that, it's not a stripped down ballad. It's not one of those ballads that stays very linear from the beginning all the way to the end. It's a song that's very dynamic. It has ups and downs. It has the more stripped down aspect to it, but it also has a little bit of a heavier bite as well. So it gives you a different look and a different feel. It's almost becoming an emotional roller coaster as you progress through it. The music, the vocals, the lyrics, everything is coming together to give you that essence, to give you that that taste of what this song is about. That emotional roller coaster becomes present on all the different elements. Like I said, music, vocals, and lyrics, and allows the song to be very dynamic, but not dynamic in a way that you're lost within it. Dynamic with a purpose. Dynamic with direction. My favorite song on the album. Last but not least, Scorched Earth. The guitars once again drive this song forward, create the purpose, create the velocity, uh, become the, dr the driving force behind this track. Uh, the moment the opening riff kicks in, you know exactly where this song is going to go. At least from a soundscape perspective, you start to feel like this is a song that you understand exactly the direction that it's going to take. And that's exactly the direction that it takes you. Given that sometimes it pulls you up, sometimes it brings you down in a little bit more of an abrupt way. It's not as smooth as far as the transitions between the peaks and the valleys, definitely a little bit more abrupt. But those abrupt moments allow the song to feel even more dynamic, to feel even more fluid, to be even more engaging 
I really enjoy this song, how it's constructed, how it feels, and then how it's delivered. This is it, guys. This is Simulacrum with Genesis out February 12th on Frontiers Music. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.